My name is Karen Rose. Um, I'm 60 years old and very active, or had been very active up until the point I ruined my back. Um, I've been a registered nurse for 40 years, 20 in the hospital and the last 20 in hospice. And the first time I started having back problems was in 1978. And I was moving a patient and I couldn't get the bed to move against the wall because I also have a little bit of OCD. I wanted everything perfectly aligned. <laughs> so I planted my knee in the mattress and shoved it, went immediately down to the floor and herniated three discs. I didn't want to have back surgery because I had heard just horror stories about it. So I went 10 years with just physical therapy and um, I'd have good days, I'd have bad days. And every probably three or four months, I'd go into this spasm where I had to go to the emergency room because I couldn't move. The pain was excruciating. So finally, um, I had the surgery. I had a laminectomy and that was 15 years ago. And it took care of the pain for about 10 years. I felt really good. And about three years ago, the pain started again. So, and I had been seeing the orthopedic, you know, off and on all, the, all this time just to kind of keep up and make sure everything was okay. It was starting to affect my job. Um, I couldn't lift patients anymore. I couldn't move them. I can't do prolonged sitting or standing. Um, and it was starting to affect everything that I did. And chronic pain is very debilitating because it's depressing. And I'm not a depressive person, but after this three years of just chronic, horrible pain, I can't even describe it. So I had um, a laminotomy and then I had, and this was just recently, this was May 2nd and a, uh, of this year, of 2014. And then I had facet injections and I had seven of those, which turned out to make things worse. Then I started having sciatic pain and I couldn't do anything. I could barely move. Um, I was in tears all the time. I was in so much pain, I didn't know what to do. So the doctor that I was going to said, the only fix for this is a spinal fusion and they'd have to start at T3 all the way down to S1. That's your whole back. And I thought maybe if I was 30, I'd consider it, but I'm not gonna do this. And I may not ever work again. And the recovery time's a year for that surgery. I, I couldn't do it. So um, my cousin Lisa said, why don't you get a second opinion? The reason I hadn't was because I'm so close to the doctor that I had been seeing. I felt like I was betraying him. Now he had put me in PT and this is what the physical therapy consisted of. I would go in, they would hand me, I'm gonna date myself here, a mimeographed sheet, Xerox sheet, excuse me, <laughs> of exercises. There'd be eight or 10 people in the room and you do these exercises with no one spotting you, no one telling you if you're doing anything right or wrong. Then uh, the only thing they kept telling me was I'm, I'm doing too much, I'm doing too much. So I wanted to get better. And I've always been a runner. And since November, I wasn't able to run. And they told me I'd never run again. And that was something else I was dealing with. I couldn't play the piano anymore because I couldn't sit up straight. It, that pain affected every aspect of my life. So I went on disability and I tried to uh, just keep doing the PT. Um, but there was nothing other than the exercises that I could have been doing at home, which I did sometimes. And then my cousin Lisa, who happens to be an accountant for BASIC, said, I know this group of doctors. They are fantastic. They have incredible bedside manner. Um, why don't you just let me take you to go see them? Just for a second opinion. So I got here and I was really impressed with the office, with the people. When I first walked in, there was such a warm feeling about everybody. They were helpful, they were kind, they were just, they treated me very, very well. And I filled out all the forms and then I met Dr. Tai and 
he spent over 30 minutes with me in the room getting a history and you know as soon as he heard about a spinal fusion he was like there is no way that I would ever let you go through that and he said let me um, have you meet some of the other people and I'm thinking you know what other people well then I found out that this practice is an interdisciplinary team effort and I met Dr. Sonia that does physical therapy. I met Dr. Bike who does chiropractic. The last time I went to a chiropractor was about 20 years ago and I was on this table and they cracked and they moved and they stretched and you know you come out feeling kind of beat up. So that's what I was expecting and I was kind of like no 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 chiropractors. <laughs> Then they told me they had massage therapists. That was a first. And, um, and I met all, all the girls that were doing that. And it just, everybody was great. So they started me the same day to take measurements and to see what I could do and this and that. And I did that for about two weeks. And I was just shocked at the difference because when I did physical therapy, I was the only one in the room. Dr. Sonia or Dr. Mike was in there doing it with me, um, showing me what to do, telling me if I was doing something wrong, telling me what not to do, which a lot of the things they told me I've been doing wrong for a long time. And the pain started to get a little better. It went from an eight to maybe a six in just one session. And I thought that's a fluke. I was really skeptical. So then um, Dr. Tai suggested an epidural. And I've never had an epidural before. I've had um, cortisone injections locally in the office and they would work for maybe a month or two, sometimes three. But I was on medication, I was on lidoderm patches, I was using ice, I was using heat, and I had this horrible back brace all the time. And that's the only way I could function. And the pain was still easily a constant seven. So he suggested this epidural, and I, of course, am scared to death of needles to be on the receiving end of it. <laughs> and they guaranteed me I'd have anesthesia with it, nothing to worry about. So. It hasn't even been two weeks since I've had this. I had it done a week ago Monday and um, went in again, went to a different office. I've been coming to the Newport Beach office. I went to the Irvine office and I was shocked to see the same girls from the front office there. And, and it was just so nice to, uh, you know, to be in a familiar place and familiar surroundings. And I met Dr. Park who again, bedside manner was incredible, told me what he was gonna do, um, had the procedure done, and he said, tomorrow you're gonna be really sore. So Tuesday morning, I was really trepidatious about getting out of bed, put the first foot down, you know, waiting for that searing pain that I've always had. Nothing happened. I didn't even feel sore. I mean, honestly, I didn't feel sore. This sounds like I'm making this up, but I'm really not. Got the second foot down, started walking. The pain was gone. And I didn't have the soreness that he told me that I would have from the injection sites. There was no pain. And I thought it was a fluke. So very gingerly, you know, I just went on with my day. And then uh, they didn't want me to come down to PT for a few days and I was supposed to rest up kind of I didn't rest up because it's the first time in three years that I had no pain at all so when I did come back here they started me on this program that is phenomenal I I couldn't believe the things they were doing with the PT and um, and then a massage every time like with aromatherapy, you just don't see these kinds of things. And I have not been back to, to Dr. Tai yet because it's not time yet. He said the full effect of the injection would take about two weeks. So honestly, 
I haven't had any pain since the ejection. I am doing things that I haven't done in years. And to be active again, to not be crying all the time and depressed and, you know, oh, I can't go to this because I can't sit for prolonged periods of time. I can't stand for prolonged periods of time. I'm doing that. And just the way the entire office works together and makes me feel like I'm the only patient that they have. They make me feel so special and so their concern for me. I, I, it's hard to describe it, but they really take an interest in me. And I think they do that for all their patients. I don't think I'm anybody special. I think it's because that's the way they work. And to be able to see somebody go from this, you know, kind of hunched over, sad looking person in three weeks to where I am now, I would think would be very satisfying for them. I would highly recommend this group to anybody that has any problems. And as a matter of fact, I already have. I, word of mouth, I don't think is enough sometimes. So I took a bunch of business cards, <laughs> like I'm passing them out. Try this, try this. Anybody that complains of back pain to me. And I've already had four people, two colleagues of mine, two other nurses, and then um, just two people that I happen to know, friends of mine that have lived with this chronic pain. And I feel so positive about it. I, it's like, I'm, I'm sure they can make this better. And I don't recommend people easily because I always feel guilty if it doesn't work out for them. I feel like, oh, I sent them to somebody and it didn't work for them. But I have such a positive feeling about this that I know that one of the therapies that you offer here is going to work for them. And, um, I love that they started me with the conservative approach. And if it doesn't work, um, I still have the alternative of having future injections because normally they're in a series of three. I've only had one. And if it works like this, we don't know how long it'll last, but I certainly wouldn't object to having another one. But Dr. Tai also told me that there is microsurgery. He does micro neurosurgery. And my spinal stenosis is so severe. And I had been told there was nothing that they could do for that. Um, when I saw the MRI, it was unbelievable because it, it just cuts off at my spine. And he said, I can fix that. And it was, you can? I've always been told you can't. And the best thing of all was that I asked him, will I ever run again? And he said, I don't see why not. And it's like, oh my gosh, sorry. Um, I had been told by everybody, I would never get to run again. And that was a huge thing for me. And for him to say, we will get you running again. It, I can't even describe how it felt to hear those words. So. Definitely, I would recommend this office, the people, the doctors, to anybody that had any kind of spinal problems. And I don't know what other things the doctors do, but it says Brain and Spine Institute, so I'm sure that they handle a myriad of problems. So thank you.